Hello, beta testers. So an in-game screenshot of Rocksteady's upcoming game was leaked on 4chan. And the top comment reads, Ugly Harley Quinn equals woke trash. They're not wrong. And the thing that I want to talk about is how in the screenshot, the battle pass is clearly visible. I bring that up to say this. When you're charging people to get in the door to play your game and then charging people on top of that for cosmetics, maybe they should really be appealing. Because with the pendulum swinging back in the other direction, with things that we can see like Velma and Saints Row Reboot, maybe what's on offer, Genshin Impact's Jiggle Physics and Sexy Waifus, should have things comparing to that if they're going to compete. Now, I'd love to know how you personally feel about a battle pass in this game right now, because in and of itself, it's not the most uh, harmful or egregious thing in the world, especially when, if they're going to continue providing that content, we can just throw some support at them. Do you know what I mean? But the fact that I'm genuinely worried about Poison Ivy being unveiled because I know it's going to be a step backwards from what used to be attractive women in this series, it sucks. So, do you have any feelings before I even start writing any more of these reading? Before I even start reading any more of these comments? Yes. So, not only is this game going to be costing probably about... 70. 70, 80 dollars. Um, but on top Someone of Someone buy it for me in the comment section, love you. On top of that, you're meant to buy a battle pass. And there's a store? What is this? Call of Duty? Look at all those resources. But, Jeez. But, 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 Harley Quinn... I, and, and I said it to you very recently, even if you put lipstick on a pig... Uh, I am so sorry for on. any women who simply wish to look good in a game. Whether you are what is considered attractive or not, maybe in game you want to role play as someone who's fine as hell. And I know a lot of women, it's effectively their job to diet right, to be fit, to really clock in the hours at the gym and just maintain what what gravity and what their body is fighting against man but video games have decided because of insecure people on the inside that they can't be a certain thing and we haven't seen enough yet so we don't know but what i would like to run from sweetie is this being a mature game 70 dollars battle pass store right but then the only thing that's mature about it is that there's a little bit of blood and there's a lot of swearing. Like it's Saints Row Reboot, man. That's what makes a game really mature. You know what I mean? For me, it feels like a slasher, but there's no titties. I don't need them jiggle physics and crazy like fucking, you know, uh, Genshin Impact. But I would like it to compare specifically to what was available before. I would love to be able to pay on top. I, I'm letting everybody know, on top of the 70, I would gladly pay to have Harley in the skin that she was in, in Rocksteady's original Arkham games. You know what I mean? But, I feel like they would feel like that's too far. But I'm, I doubt that they'd have a problem with shirtless dudes, you know what I'll, I'm saying? I'll be honest with you, I think, I think just like the company who made Saints Row, and the company that made the new Saints Row expect expect the same speech of them going, well, our company was doing some things that we just want to get away from, and and we're gonna do things better and more appropriate because we're our, our make sure that we're always punching up. We want to be absurdist. We don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. We're trying to be respectful. We're trying to be inclusive. Fuck right off. You're not known for these things. You're known for kick-ass games. So make a kick-ass game. It is disrespectful to Harley Quinn. She has been done dirty in two different games now. Two different games they have done Harley Quinn dirty. She's ugly awful and i hope i hope i hope and it's it's made by people who have genuine hatred for these characters and we're looking at mindy formerly of the office and her velma show right now to paint a picture of how how much just resentment and and people would use the phrase what were you bullied in high school as a sort of dismissive kind of diss 
But these people really do have a chip on their shoulder. And they're trying to invest that misery into everything that they do in a way that robs the joy. The reason that the ugly people specifically and exclusively targeting the women is a problem is because you're asking not just for one set of money. you asking for another set of money. And then another set of money on top of that. Why can fucking Fortnite get away with it? Fortnite is a free game that evolves so hard that from one week to the next, you're going into a game and seeing all kinds of shit that you weren't seeing before. I don't think the cadence is as strong with something like this. And yes, it will have all of the comic book nerds in their pocket. The same way that people are that used to read the fucking Hogwarts books are coming out of nowhere. There are a lot of non-gamers that are willing to jump into Hogwarts. And that's why it's going to make bank. But with this situation, dude, you're going to have Bat fans, Bat family fans that are like, oh, it's a live service. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's got a battle pass. You know what I mean? Why does Harley look like that? Do you get what I'm saying? And they got to pay $70 for, for this ugly ass bitch. In the world yeah. where all of these streamers can just play the game for people and have them see all of the cutscenes and be done. Unless the, the, man, I just, and I know the gameplay is going to be strong, but it terrifies me, you know, with these high priority departures and these ugly women, why, and I'll end the video here, and I'd love to be told that I'm overreacting. I'd like to thank Dia for her contribution. Boy, I just want this to be good. And it sucks think, that, it, it feels like everything needs to be made by an Asian for it to be good. I don't, I, I don't think it'll be enough to, to, to make this game viable for the long run at least i don't hope so because it's asking for too much this depends is, on what they put in depends on what trying, they do this is trying to be fucking destiny and i hate it bruh here's the problem with you saying that sweetie is that a lot of people would play a destiny if it wasn't called destiny if destiny had marvel coat of paint on it dc coat of paint on it and it functioned people would love that if it had the content coming even if it was a drip feed people would love that and rocksteady is somebody that you know they're an insomniac games they're a sucker punch they're even if people can fly to a, a greater or lesser extent we can set our watch to knowing that the gameplay will be great there's a lot of other things that get thrown into that mix that make it so that it's almost impossible to know or gauge whether or not it's just gonna work at launch some games are ruined by uh, aggressive, like, antivirus bullshit that they put on it. Some games are ruined by, look at Outriders. Where that game might have been able to fly, no pun intended by developer people can fly, Dia, but because of its online connection issues that could not be turned off, that was interfering with people even trying to play it offline, that game is the type of thing that people go, I'm putting this down, maybe I'll come back, and they never do. And some people will regard that as a victory as it pertains to them getting the money and that's all they really wanted. But when you're dealing with a live service, you are competing for people's time. Because if less people play, that's a problem. That's a problem. But Rocksteady is far from the half-assed developers farting out 30 FPS slow motion combat dribble that they have to convince people isn't dated clunky garbage. When IV is revealed, I guess we'll have more answers, and we'll go from there. Thank you for liking and watching this far into the video. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. She's such a fan favorite. People love this character that they kind of want to root for her. For us, we thought, well, that idea of Harley, that's been pretty well explored in a lot of places. So we thought, well, what happens if we take her the other way? Oh, I got to be zany. I'm your manic pixie. Like, like, she doesn't need to be the manic pixie anymore. She is kind of gotten to a point where she knows who she is. She has a very clear sense of what her identity is. She's going to present herself in this much stronger, kind of developed supervillain way. Kind of inspires Harley to say, well, why don't I, why don't I finally get to have my career as a supervillain? On my own, I have all sorts of ideas. I'm a brilliant psychiatrist. Like there's all sorts of crazy things that I can do. This Harley Quinn superpower is self-actualization. After years spent working in the shadow of others, she's now unleashing the true Harley on Gotham.